In this lesson, I will show you how to create such a keychain in Plasticity. You will learn how to add text, how to create a 3D shape based on the text, and how to move shapes. Let's start by creating a new file. We'll begin by adding text. To add text, press the F key to activate the command list, type the text, and then select that command. Here we enter the text, then we choose the font. Here we have a list of fonts available in Plasticity. Let's choose this font, and here we specify the height of the characters. I will enter 0.025 here, and in this case, these letters will have a height of 25 millimeters. I click OK, and we have created the text. Now, based on this text, we will create shapes. I will switch to edge selection and select every other letter. I press the shift key and select the areas of the letters. OK, and now I add an extrusion of 5 millimeters. To do this precisely, I press the D key, then the 5 key, and enter to confirm. I press enter again to finish this command. Similarly, I select the letters while holding the shift key and add another extrusion, this time of 3 millimeters. I press D, then 3, enter, enter and we have created such solids. Now I will turn off the visibility of the flat geometries. I select all curves and press the H key on the keyboard to hide this geometry. I switch to the top view and now I will move these letters. I switch to solid selection and using the selection box I select the letters. Then I select the move command, which we can activate by pressing the G key on the keyboard and move these letters so that they overlap. I click OK and then the next selection box hit G and so we continue moving the letters until all are connected. OK, just these two elements left. And OK, all the solids are overlapping now. In a moment we will combine them, but now I will draw two circles. At first, roughly at this position, I press Tab, 5, Enter, and again drawing a circle, the same center point, Tab, 10, Enter. Now I switch to Edge Selection, press the 2 key on the keyboard, and holding the Shift key, I select these two circles. I activate the Move command, that is, I press the G key on the keyboard, and gently move these circles. OK, and now, based on these circles, I will add an extrusion. I switch to Face Selection, press the 3 key on the keyboard, Select this area, and I would like to add an extrusion to the bottom edge of the letter here. To do this precisely, I press the control key on the keyboard and hover over the bottom edge of this letter. I release the left mouse button, and the extrusion has been added to the bottom edge of the letter. I press OK to accept this, and we have created such a keychain. Now I turn off the visibility of these circles, switch to Solid Selection, select all shapes, choose the Boolean operation, here I select the Union operation, and click OK. And this is how we created such a keychain. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.